Gift in English is a present, right? But gift in German is poison. Hi everyone, welcome back to La Dolce Vita. My name is Phoebe. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and sticking with me. If you're a new subscriber, please, what are you waiting for? Just click on the subscribe button, watch this video, like, comment, and share. Word of the week is now going to be bi-weekly and on each episode, every Wednesday, every second Wednesday, we are going to treat words and also explain them we're going to put these words into context to make you understand the words better and to make you using them much easier, all right? And for this new series, we have started with false friends. False friends. There are words that sound similar in both English and German and you would think the meanings are the same. Nope. 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 So we have learned, I have learned this the hard way for some of the words and I'm going to share these of some of these words with you. So get your pen and paper, hold your was zum Schreiben, wir lernen alle zusammen heute, okay? Let's start. So number one of the false friends is this word that everybody gets wrong. It's on both sides. So German, um, Germans get it wrong for the English side and English speaking people also get it wrong for the German side. Becoming and to become. Etwas become and to become. They don't have the same meaning. To become in English, in German is werden. Etwas werden. To become something. Percussion werden. I want to become a chef. It's percussion werden. Okay. Um, but to say becomen in, in German is not the same as to become in English. Becomen in German means to receive. To receive. Number one. Number two is the word billion. Billion, de billion. In English, you think it's billion? No. When Germans say billion, they mean trillion. In German, billion is English trillion. Okay? But when an English says billion, in German, it's milliarde. Arm. Arm of Deutsch arm in English. Now this is a bit tricky. So the arm, that is your arm. <laughs> but when we're using it as an adjective, it means poor. So as an arm mensch, he is a poor person. But in German, we can say when it's written um, with a starts with a capital letter, it means the arm, the arm. But when they say it is arm, they're not saying he's an arm. It means he's poor. Mm -hmm. Confession, confession, the confession, confession. When you want to say confession in German, it's the Geständnis. But if you're saying confession in German, in English, that's the religion. Of course, if you confess Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, it means you're a Christian. But um, in German, when we say confession, it means the religion okay when you say confession in English you want to say confession in German you, it has to be das Geständnis so delicate 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 in English means something being delicate you say that in German as empfindlich right empfindlich it's not the same thing Delicate, when somebody tells you delicate in German, he's not telling you the, the thing is still like delicate. He's telling you it's delicious. So delicate, delicate, they are not the same thing. Delicate is empfindlich, I'm vulnerable in German. I mean, in English, delicate slash vulnerable in German is empfindlich and delicate is delicious, yummy. Gift is not gift. Das gift is nicht gift. Gift in English is a present, right? But gift in German is poison. Yep, it's not the same thing. So gift in German is poison. And the adjective for that is giftig. Giftig. And a giftige Schlange. A poisonous snake. And if you don't like someone, be free to use it. Sie ist eine giftige Schlange. It's free of charge. Use it. Engaged. Engagiert. Engaged. Engagiert. 
engaged in German means either beset or beschäftigt. It can also mean verlobt, right? So when somebody is engaged to get married in German, it's verlobt. And if the phone is um, engaged, it's besetzt in German. Die Leitung war besetzt. The line was engaged. But when we say engagiert in German, it doesn't mean the person is engaged. It just means the person is committed. The person is involved, committed to whatever thing he's engagiert in. So engagiert is not the same as engaged. Don't let them trick you. Actual and aktuell. Actual and aktuell. Actual meaning like the real thing. In German, it's tatsächlich. Tatsächlich. But when someone tells you in German, this is actual, he's not telling you it's actual. He's just telling you it's current. Eventually and eventuell. Eventually, eventuell. Eventually in German is schließlich irgendwann um, eventually she gave up schließlich gab sie es auf okay that is it but eventuell in german is possible it is possible it is possible we do this wir können es eventuell machen maybe that's it so eventuell and eventually they are not the same thing ambulance ambulance and ambulance they are similar, they have something to do with each other, but they are not exactly the same thing. So ambulance is the Krankenwagen. You call the ambulance, they come to pick you up when you're sick. Yes. Ambulance is not ambulance. Ambulance is the Krankenwagen and ambulance is A and E. So accident and emergency section or station of the hospital. So that is the difference. So guys, you are come to the end of this week's video or this week's um edition of German word of the week and as I said it's going to be bi-weekly we're going to bring to you the words as time goes on in context so you can learn and apply them easier yep and also know that La Deutsche Vita is going to be rebranding soon so if you have any suggestions on what the name of the channel should be let me know all right guys Thank you so much for tuning in. See you same time next week with new content, with new information. Tschüss, macht's gut, passt gut auf euch auf.